All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel, Connor on Chain. Lots to talk about here because we got the market still in the dumps. Sentiment is still, you know, really bad so far. You know, we even got some major influencers here talking, uh, really questioning what's going on right now. So yeah, even Alex Becker out here, just doing nothing, just holding, just chilling. But let's see. Because the first thing I want to bring up is we got Tau. Tau has been hacked recently, I think in the last 24 hours. We had KRC 20s halted. And we also had Sony announce a blockchain and some sort of DeFi infrastructure as well. So we're going to cover all of those. So, you know, my last video the other day, I dropped talking about KRC 20s. You know, it's been pretty interesting. And it seems like we got Codex and Network here. May have... Oh, this is actually new to me. I just saw this right now. Even though this is two days old. Um, this is like they might get a... One of the first DEXs to list KRC 20s. You know, and obviously I went in depth talking about a bunch of KRC 20 stuff, you know, with how a lot of the, uh, a lot of these memes have a huge pre-mine allocation, which I didn't really like at all, but there are a lot of bugs and errors with some of the platforms, you know, to actually mint and with the wallet as well a little bit. So outside of that, you know, it's just, it's kind of expected though, right? For a brand new protocol. So, you know, over the next few days, maybe a week, a couple of weeks, you know, this 100% should get fixed, I would think. But from there, it's just going to be a waiting game until we figure out, um, you know, if and when everything's back up, working really well. Um, so we're going to type in Sony announces blockchain. So there's an article I read. Yeah, I think it was... Uh, I think it was this one. Sony announces launch of a new Bitcoin exchange. Sony Group is set to introduce a Bitcoin and crypto exchange in Japan after acquiring Amber Japan, a local subsidiary of Amber Group. The revamped exchange will be named S Blocks. So I don't look into it if they actually have any sort of, you know, Twitter, website, anything like that yet for this, you know, potential whatever dex exchange whatever they want to call it but that's pretty interesting to see such a massive brand literally jumping into the crypto space just head on literally launching their own exchange right now that is i think that's nuts you know like i said obviously we got the market had a nice beautiful red nuke today you know continues to just go lower and lower you know technically we are still holding the support if you want to consider this a support level I do you know a lot of people might not you know a lot of people might draw you know a literal simple trend line just from the previous peak to here some people might not even consider it a support but for me that is what I consider just an overall support range I don't know why this is red but again I'm personally I'm still bullish I'm kind of a giga bull in a bull market you know everything to me is a potential opportunity yes things are down very heavily but again throughout the next six to twelve months there is no doubt in my mind that we will be higher than we are now so outside of that that was one of the main things I wanted to cover with you know Sony I just think it's very interesting that they're launching this that's something to uh, keep an eye out for I mean, I guess maybe this is their website, S Blocks. Or no, I think this is linking me to something else. Yeah, no. But yeah, that's that was pretty interesting. And then we also got, like I said, we get the Tau hack. Just gonna cover a few things, and then I want to get into some alts as well, as usual. Just cover more altcoins here. Um. Yeah, because personally, I haven't looked too much into it. 
but I've seen like the team. I have I'm in the Discord for um, BitTensor. You know, I, I was getting alerts yesterday on and off just about some certain like things going on. But BitTensor suffered an attack. The teams are working and will communicate on the evolution of the situation. I don't know who this person is. Maybe it's a team member or just someone that's part of it. But they, I know that they've halted their um, their network right now. And it's kind of wild to see because we got, you know, Tao, Tao to me was has been, you know, a very, very strong, one of the strongest AI coins in the space, right? You know, I mean, when it was back up here, I think it was at what, at least three to four billion in market cap. You know, just from like a, a hack, you know, it, usually it's not the end of the world with certain hacks, especially because the price to literally have, hasn't moved, it's still sitting on support. You know, I think it's definitely going to be a big thing on how the team executes this. You know, they've already been very transparent, you know, over the last day about everything going on with the hack here, which is good. But like I said, it's like even just price wise, again, fundamentals, I don't think have changed for Tau. But obviously with this hack has definitely probably scared a lot of people and I don't blame them, right? But it seems like the team's doing well and at least on a daily, if this candle can kind of close how it's looking, this potentially could be a short term bottom you know, I mean, the sentiment itself right now, like I said, most support levels in a sentiment like this are not going to hold, but this could have a little bounce, maybe even a bounce up if they resolve it because people are hype before it probably just continues to go back down and then break through support. If that happens, you know, it's, I just think it's, it's just part of this sentiment right now. Like I said, Tau is still one of the stronger if not one of the strongest AI coins in the space. You know, I think even if it does go under, eventually I think when AI and just the entire market comes back, you know, we're gonna see a lot of coins that have been down for months. They probably will just start ripping again. They're gonna have some big moves to the upside. Maybe they trend up and then they just moonshot at some point over the next six, like maybe three to six months here. You know, and I, the reason why I say that, like I said, is I do believe Tau is one of the top AI coins in the space, you know, just from market cap alone before, you know, before price has been going down for a while. But, you know, from what I've seen, what I've researched over the last few months, you know, everyone's everyone really likes Tau, very bullish on it. Um, yeah, but lately people are questioning it because everyone questions everything when, you know, price is down only for such a long period of time, right? That's just what it is. And then once they see price going green and green and green, you know, no one's questioning anything. You know, people are aping into the biggest scams, you know, complete crap coins, right? But they don't question it then because everything's going up. You know, that's why I, I believe heavily in fundamental projects still. Even though I've been talking about memes a lot more recently, you know, fundamental projects, I know for a fact will come back. You know, you. We got ETFs literally on the way. Well, not ETFs. Like we got the ETH ETF coming. Bitcoin ETFs have been out. You know, you got people with real, real capital outside of, you know, us, if you want to call us normies or retail, whatever you want to call us, people with a lot more money than a lot of us, you know, as retail investors are looking at ETFs. You know, they're not looking at meme coins you know, outside of, yeah, the potential return on meme coins, you know, but they want to be investing in some top quality stuff, right? You know, in BlackRock, really diving in heavy into crypto, you know, I don't think it's going to be any sort of end of a bull market when we got institutions, you know, we got real big money, finally, you know, almost portraying to the open public that they are pretty interested in what's going on and that they are actually allocating into it, whether it is through ETFs or, you know, the, I don't even know what it was, the Biddle, Build, Biddle Fund that BlackRock has or that they're trying to do. 
you know, and jump into RWA projects heavy. You know, that's why I think fundamentals, I know for a fact, will come back. You know, the only thing I question is the sheer amount of coins that are just in this space that don't provide any value, you know, that are questionable. And just, again, just even the sheer size, you know, there's hundreds upon hundreds of, you know, solid AI coins, hundreds of different RWA coins, you know, so many gaming projects. And then meme coin, you know, there's meme coins. Meme coins are a whole different story, right? Like we got millions of meme coins just launching out of nowhere because of how simple it is, right? I mean, I'm talking mainly on Soul here, but, you know, basically every chain has just been launching memes left and right as well. But, like I said, I think fundamentals will come back at some point. Like, I'm personally, I'm betting on it, you know? Gaming, I still think, has a, a lot of room to grow, even over the next few months as well, like I've stated before. You know, and this was just a short video to cover just, I guess, some stuff going on in the market. And also just to be, continue to just, I don't know, be bullish on the market. You know, I know everyone's getting shaken out. Everyone thinks the entire crypto market is literally over. People are starting to say that they think, you know, this isn't even a shakeout anymore. This is actually going to be the end of the bull run. When, again, we're still not even three months out from the Bitcoin halving. You know, technically, we still have a span of about six to 12 months. And the question is, at this point, is do you want to be here for the potential massive run that we've seen previously based on the last eight to 12 years of data? Do you want to be here to potentially experience a similar scenario where price giga sends at some point? Or do you want to call it quits now? That's... That is basically the question you got to ask yourself. If you think that the bull run is over, you're basically saying you don't want to take the risk to potentially see, you know, an entire retail euphoric like pump across the board, across different narratives at some point, maybe at the end of this year, even could be into 2025, you know, at some point in 2025, you know. So again, if you want to ask yourself and you're not, you don't even want to attempt it because you think, you know, you've lost a lot and you just want to get out of the market now, save what you have, you know, then that is, that's, you know, everyone's personal decision, right? But I know for a fact I will be here, you know, whether it happens or not, which I firmly believe it will at some point, but I will be here to experience that, you know, that's literally why I'm here why I'm still in the space every single day, you know, it's it really has not changed for me. The, the entire sentiment and prices are just down a little bit. That is the only thing that, you know, is affecting this entire run right now. There's so many bullish factors in my opinion. And it's just at this point, it's price being held down. And at some point it's going to break back up into new highs and we're gonna see an insane run you know, and I even think just getting into clear winners in the space right now is probably your best bet for, you know, a lot of your capital. You know, even, so I don't, I don't want to bring up mainly meme coins, but, you know, Pepe, Pepe and Mog on ETH are probably some top Ethereum meme coins, you know, obviously you got Whiff on Soul. Even for AI, you got Render. Gaming, gaming you got a bunch, right? Um, you know, but like I said, I think just betting on winners and just clear winners, I guess, currently is a huge, you know, strategy, I think, and just, you know, hold it out, guys. So I'll say it one more time, that's basically what you're going to be betting on if you're trying to be in crypto and you're still in crypto now, is you're saying that you want to be here to potentially... And I, I emphasize that potentially because it's never going to be guaranteed, but to potentially see what the next six to 12 months have in store for the crypto market, you know, 
And because if that comes true, you you know, you've seen previous bull cycles, you know what kind of gains can come out of that, you know. And it's would you rather be sidelined or still in the market, even though things are down, even though they will at some point return and go back up, you know, not everything's gonna recover by any means. There again, there's way too many tokens, especially in the market. But I know for a fact some things will recover and Many things will make brand new highs and go crazy at some point. But you want to be here to experience this stuff. And right now, if it's too much for you mentally, or you're overinvested, this and that, you know, maybe you should take some of the capital out, even if you're down a little bit, you know, or just maybe the market isn't for you, you know. Because I know this is a crazy emotional game, especially if you are new to the space. I don't blame anyone if you, you know, if you guys are feeling like it's literally over, you know, if you're not used to investing, trading, you don't have that mindset kind of developed. <clears throat> it's, it can be brutal. Like I, I truly believe that. But like I said, I'll, I can say it 50 times, you know, I, I know we're going higher at some point. You know, I, I just, I feel it in my gut. I know for a fact we will at some point. And again, that's my conviction. I'm never, I'm not saying that it actually is like it's programmed to go there. I, I don't know, right? But I just have more faith in the market than anything. Just over the next six to 12 months. And I'm, I want to be here to experience the next year in crypto. That's all I know, guys. You know, I'm going to try my best to put out still as many good coins quality projects you know quality meme coins just over the, the span of time that this bull run can really last you know and i guess long term if you are bullish this does seem like unbelievable opportunity to be jumping into coins right you know that's why i'm like i said i'm just long term bullish i just i play the long game with crypto and that's it so outside of that just wanted to kind of update you guys in the market, talk a little bit about, you know, just some things like that. And outside of that, you know, I'm going to be dropping some more stuff. I know, I know I said I was going to cover some alts today, but I think I'm going to do that for tomorrow because I'm, I've been doing a ton of deep dives into a lot of coins the last couple of days might take me still another few days and I'm probably going to drop a few on the channel here at some point. You know, especially while prices are down and outside of that, you know, just be prepared for those. They're going to be a mix of everything, just different coins left and right. So outside of that, that's what I got for you guys today. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in the next video. Thanks.